Jacob Green is not what you'd call fat, but admits he eats his share of fatty foods. My wife and I are concerned about the obesity problem, and we know that, that, that processed food is, a, is easy and cheap. Doctors worry by cutting corners we may be gaining weight and sacrificing our health. Dr. Brian Tashner is a cardiologist. It's actually about two-thirds of our population that is overweight and obese right now. It's not just how much fat, but where it accumulates. Excess belly fat is proving to be a significant indicator of your heart health. If you were to look at a patient, the apple rather than a pear shape uh, is probably more detrimental to someone's health uh, than fat distributed elsewhere, such as the hips. Concentrated belly fat can be as significant a risk as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day or having very high blood pressure. That's the shape that you don't want to have, the one that's more associated with the metabolic syndrome and a lot of the risk factors. Monitoring fat distribution can help doctors detect metabolic abnormalities and early heart disease. One of the thoughts is that the fat, uh, it accumulates around the organs in the abdomen and uh, these free fatty acids or other toxins produced by the fat go directly into the, the circulation. Basic guidelines make for a quick initial assessment. The numbers that we use for elevated or a high waist circumference in men and women are 40 inches for men and 35 inches for women. Research further shows even normal weight people can be at risk if their belly fat is too great. Jacob has checked his stomach stats. I probably borderline, I guess, from some of the, the measurements that I've taken. Simply changing your diet and adding exercise may help you slim down and shrink your risk for heart disease. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.